हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्विक अनाटमी रिविजन आई एम डॉक्टर पूनम खर अर्ब्स पैल्सी और अर्ब यूशेंग पैल्सी इज यूजली वन फॉर्म ऑफ ऑब्स्टैट्रिक ब्रेकल प्लेक्सिस इंजरी एंड इज देयर फॉर आल्सो नोन एज ऑब्स्टैट्रिकल पैल्सी द साइट ऑफ लीजन इन अर्ब्स पैरालिसिस इज नोन एज अर्ब्स पॉइंट it is located on the upper trunk of brachial plexus in this picture we can see here this is the brachial plexus this is the supraclavicular part of the brachial plexus showing the roots from c5 c6 c7 c8 and t1 and the three trunks of the brachial plexus that is upper trunk middle trunk and the lower trunk upper trunk which is shown here with the yellow color this is the site of the lesion and is formed by joining of ventral rami of c5 and c6 spinal nerves let us look at the herbs point in detail as said earlier herbs point is located on the upper trunk of brachial plexus where we have union of two ventral rami of spinal nerves and these are the ventral ramus of c5 spinal nerve and ventral ramus of c6 spinal nerve so they are joining together and forming here the upper trunk then we find here that the upper trunk itself divides into two divisions one is posterior division and another is anterior division two nerves can be seen arising from the upper trunk at the herbs point and these are nerve to subscapularis and supra scapular nerve so what is the cause of herbs palsy the cause is undue separation of neck from the shoulder so when neck is separated from the shoulder then what happens the upper trunk which is lying on the upper side of the neck that gets unduly stretched or comes under pressure now this may occur in the following conditions first is in case of a difficult childbirth for example in forceps delivery so here also there could be chances that the neck is separated from the shoulder second is when a person meets with an accident and violently falls on the ground on the side of the shoulder then what happens is the shoulder immediately comes to rest whereas the head and the neck are still in motion so this also results in undue separation of neck from the shoulder third could be a direct injury when the anesthesia could be given for blockage of the brachial plexus let us now see what will be the position of the upper limb in herbs paralysis as can be seen in the picture the upper limb appears as if a policeman or a waiter or a porter is taking tip so let us look at the arm position the arm will remain adducted and medially rotated that means the movement of adduction and lateral rotation are lost whereas when we look at the forearm the forearm is extended and pronated so which movement is lost here we have lost the flexion and supination of the forearm so which muscles are paralyzed in herbs paralysis it is very obvious that upper trunk is formed by ventral rami of c5 and c6 spinal nerves so the muscles that are innervated by c5 and c6 spinal nerves here via brachial plexus they will be paralyzed there are four nerves which will be carrying nerve fibers from c5 and c6 spinal nerves so let us look at the muscles that will be paralyzed first is deltoid and teres minor which are supplied by axillary nerve supraspinatus and infraspinatus supplied by suprascapular nerve biceps brachii and brachialis supplied by musculocutaneous nerve brachioradialis and supinator supplied by radial nerve what will be the effect of paralysis of these muscles supraspinatus and deltoid they are responsible for abduction of arm so their paralysis will result in loss of abduction of arm infraspinatus and teres minor they are involved in lateral rotation of the arm so their paralysis will result in loss of lateral rotation of arm as a result 
the arm will be adducted and medially rotated. Now biceps brachii, brachialis and brachioradialis. They are involved in flexion of forearm. So their paralysis will result in loss of flexion of forearm. Biceps brachii and supinator. They are responsible for supination of forearm. So as a result of paralysis of these muscles, there will be loss of supination of forearm. So therefore, the forearm will remain extended and pronated. Thanks for listening. You can also visit my website anatomyqa.com for further details on radial nerve. I'll put the link of my website in the description.